Go now, fellas. Here we go. We've cooked up some uh, some steak. We've got the steak, different steak today with the bones. It's like ribs, ribeye. So we've got the ribs. So it's been um, put on a griller, and we had it steeping in a, a a heap of butter with all these herbs so we got all fresh herbs out of the garden rosemary and garlic and yeah lots of things kaffir lime give it a bit of flavor and i made a mash with sweet potato white potato and purple potato or blue looks purple to me and we've just got the green curry vegetables in the middle of the boat it's a boat why is it a boat i don't know we're just having a red wine with that just a quiet cheeky one we've got the chili over there not much left i'll have to cut some more i think and um yeah just about to have some dinner fellas had a big day in the garden again went out for lunch uh, well, let's give this a go with a bit of mushroom, a little bit of rosemary on there. <laughs> Cheers, fellas. Mmm. The crunchy garlic. Yum. Mushroom. Those herbs do it. But that butter just soaked into the steak so well. I rested the steak for 10 minutes in the in the butter with all the herbs and the mushroom and turned it over and the butter and everything soaks in all the flavors go into the steak well oh, it's beautiful and try this green curry mmm Yeah, that's all right too. That um, mash, a bit more goodness on the normal potato mash. That's good. It doesn't look the best, does it? The mash. You know what I mean? My food, I never cook to make it look good. The main thing on my food is it tastes good and it's healthy. Looks, no, well, I'm not a restaurant. Not sell on the fucking thing. Or am I? Anyway, all right, I'll leave you with that. That's my dinner, Sunday night. Just put in um, six yuccas. I call them yuccas, some people call them other names. Yuccas, whatever. Mexican palm type things. Four more to go tomorrow. All right, cheers, fellas. This is lovely.